Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shaq's Tron back with another video review. And this time is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be doing a Transformers review. This is going to be for part of my uh, backpacking gear. I'm, I'm uh, getting ready and together for the season when the weather gets nicer. It's still winter up here and still snowing and raining and pretty cold. But once the weather starts uh, warming up, I'm going to start doing some more uh, outdoor videos. If you want to see uh, my other ones, you can uh, click on the description box below and check those out. They're just uh, from uh, various places I've been uh, hiking and stuff. But uh, anyways, to get started, I'm going to show you the knives I had before and the new one, which is the Gerber Prodigy, which I'll get into in a second. This was my first knife. This is a Barracuda. forgot what cutlery it's from, but... This thing has been through hell and back pretty much. It's just like falling apart pretty much. It's really bad. But also, this is the first video I'm posting on my new phone. So, new quality. It's going to be a lot better. You guys can probably hear me better. Um, actually see stuff that I zoom in. Yep, just like that. It's uh, the Samsung... Uh, Galaxy Edge 6 or S Samsung Galaxy 6 Edge Plus or something like that. But anyways, that was the first knife. The second knife is not really practical, but since this one was broken, I had to use this one. Uh, it's more of a fantasy knife, sort of, but I still was able to use it outdoors uh, flying fish, as you can see. It really hasn't been uh, cleaned since I last uh, used it. it. Needs to get cleaned, but this actually worked pretty well. I was able to chop some uh, uh, sticks up for firewood, get rid of the bark to use them for um, cooking a caught fish, which was a uh, brown trout and rainbow. And it comes in this cool little sheet that I had on my belt, but. I'm going to clean this knife up and sharpen it and add it back to my knife collection. But this is a very, very nice knife, but that's for a different video. But getting on to the Gerber, it came in this uh, packaging. There was uh, some uh, black cardboard, basically like a clamshell uh, that wrapped around it. The knife was in here, then on the back was the leg sheath. But since I uh, already opened it in a previous video and I didn't like the quality, I just deleted it and decided to make a new one. But uh, anyways, so here is the Gerber Prodigy. Comes with a leg sheath and it can secure with these uh, buttons or straps or whatever. But anyways, you uh, undo these like this. Basically you just, there's a little release here. We can press it and then pull out. Man, nope, that was the knife. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> I thought that was the the thumb release. Or maybe it's this. Yeah, it's that. I'm new to the whole tactical knives, guys, so uh, don't mind me, but this right here is the thumb release, I believe. But you just push on it and pops out, but just a normal sheath, very, very lightweight. The knife with the sheath weighs uh, two, I mean, 12.45 uh, ounces. The knife itself, without the sheath, weighs 7.2 ounces. The length is nine and uh, seven uh, sorry, nine three quarters long, and the blade length is uh, four and three quarters. It's a very, very, very nice blade. It's made by Gerber. I believe these are manufactured and engineered in Portland, Oregon, so it's just uh, one state down. Very, very nice grip. Got a little thumb, a spot for your uh, thumb here. Very, very nice. Got big hands. And this fits me really nicely. So it has a serrated edge right here. Very, very nice serrated edge. If it'll focus. 
Come on. There you go. Very, very nice serrated edge. There's the Gerber logo. And there's the sharp edge right here. This is coated in, I believe, ceramic. And this is made out of 420 high carbon uh, steel. And it's very, very, very nice. It's not that uh, heavy at all. Very easy, uh, maneuverable in your hands, just like that. It's a great, great hunting knife. It's easily sharpened too. It's very, very nice quality steel. Not bad for a uh, upgraded knife. So this is uh, my uh, first knife, like I said. Yep, there you are right there. Sorry, getting off track here, but it says Portland, Oregon, USA. And then there's the number. But this is my uh, first actual real knife. I don't really count this one as a real knife. I mean, it's not really practical, but this is the first actual real one that I actually purchased for myself that actually is practical but I do really really enjoy this knife I, hi I do highly recommend it I got uh, quite a few knives and so far uh, this is my favorite one and also for the handle here this is a uh, Coyote uh, Brown so I'll show up on the camera it has a very, very nice textured grip here on the handle. And also, which is a big plus, the reason I bought this knife, I don't like folding knives. Don't get me wrong, there are, there are some nice ones out there, but this one is full tang. So, from here all the way up, it's all blade. And then your uh, handle. But, extremely, extremely nice uh, knife. I do highly recommend it. Got this at uh, Walmart for about 40 bucks. Uh, apparently it wasn't supposed to be that price. Um, this knife sells for like 100 plus or 200 or something on uh, eBay and Amazon. So um, I'm not sure what their the actual real uh, price is, but if you guys want a knife, definitely, definitely get this knife. I don't think you guys would be disappointed. But there you go, guys. McGerber, Prodigy, and Coyote Brown. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for uh, more videos to come. Later.